Now getting B very close to A would mean making the horizontal distance between the points, H, smaller and smaller until it was basically zero, but not actually zero. The way to represent this in math is by writing our slope equation as a limit where H approaches zero. And this is what ends up being the same thing as the limit definition of a derivative. Let's consider using the limit definition to find the derivative of 3x squared. The first thing we're going to do is write our f of x as 3x squared, which means that f of x plus h would just equal 3 times x plus h squared. Now we plug these into our limit formula and see if we were to just set h equal to 0 right now, we would get 0 over 0, which is bad. When this happens, it means we need to do more work and try some algebra tricks first. We can kick things off by first expanding the x plus h squared to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now we distribute the 3 and then cancel out like terms. At this point, we can also factor out an h from every term on the top, which will end up canceling with the h in the denominator. Now when we set h equal to 0, we're no longer divided by 0, and this gets us a nice answer for the derivative, which is just 6x. 